Hi guys, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. If you're new here, I do daily Office 365 videos talking about various aspects around uh, my thoughts and experiences using Office 365 and also the best practices and so on and so forth. So today, I've been uh, this week we've we, we've uh, we talk, started talking about Office 365 uh, Microsoft Forms. So every time Microsoft Forms come into discussion, you know the elephant in the room is Survey Monkey because I see a lot of people actually, you know, um, use Survey Monkey even though they have access to Office 365 and also Microsoft Forms. It's it, it's for two reasons. One, they're quite uh, they've been using Survey Monkey for a while and uh, they're quite familiar with it. That's okay. Um, but the second reason is they don't know that a Forms product actually exists within their within their uh, Office 365 tenancy. That's it's, it's pure ignorance. Um, <coughs> so, if if you wanted to create surveys, forms, uh, feedback, and so on, I would I would definitely encourage you to look into Microsoft Forms as such mm, before before uh, you know using Survey Monkey. The reason why I suggest not to use Survey Monkey is a lot of people actually use the either free version or the the non-business version of Survey Monkey. Survey Monkey has uh, something called Survey Monkey Enterprise, which is which is more compliant, and uh, it's compliant with SOC and uh, HIPAA and uh, GDPR compliant and other stuff as well. And which Microsoft is Microsoft Forms is compliant to all of those standards too. Uh, so if if you wanted to create customer feedback forms or polls or quizzes and things like that, think about using Microsoft Forms and uh, and see if if a form. Uh, that you built using my uh, using the form solution is is good enough because um, you know I do understand if you wanted to use a survey monkey because it it actually has uh, better field types and and, and uh, better features around branching and hiding and showing different uh, question types based on different question types based on the previous answers and so on. Uh, Microsoft Forms does actually um, ha has some limitations in in around the, the capabilities that it has, but uh, Microsoft is actively improving it. I've seen uh, recent changes uh, come to uh, Microsoft Forms uh, since Ignite. If uh, it's actually built some intelligence features around, you know, creating question types and things like that. Uh, there, there you have it. Uh, this is a short video talking about uh, Survey Monkey and Microsoft Forms. It's not a question of uh, which tool to use. Uh, it, you, it's up to you. But just check out Microsoft Forms. If you already if you if you already have an Office 365 account, so a lot of people I've, I'm seeing a lot of people actually uh, going and using Microsoft uh, Survey Monkey, even without checking out uh, Microsoft Forms. You know why would you want to go and, uh, and and buy a, a third-party tool when you already have a, a form solution and it can actually do most of the uh, most of your work. I mean, like you, know, you can you can use it to get your feedback forms quiz. Only use only use Survey Monkey if you if, if you really need. Uh, that extra, you know, more advanced question types. There you have it. That's my view on Survey Monkey versus uh, Microsoft Forms. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video tomorrow. Cheers. Where in the next video I'll be talking about the limitations of Microsoft Forms. We'll stay on topic. Thank you.